didn't they, Michael? How important is he? For me, he's very important. I, I mean, he's giving something extra on that midfield because he uh, can always play him. He has a good vision. He can, he's one of those who can bring it when is he coming back. So I think that's, that's quite normal. We just had a little glance there at Hamas. He doesn't start today. And neither does Isco. Because it's Marco Asensio who's playing left side of midfield, Guillaume, alongside Toni Kroos and Luka Modric. If you are Isco, are you scratching your head thinking... Asensio wasn't a midfielder with Espanyol, has not played as a midfielder with Real Madrid, but he's preferred to somebody who's, get, who's used to play in that position. Isco was on the bench already against Villarreal. You think, all right, if he's left on the bench, does that mean that he plays against Dortmund? I don't think so. He started the season injured, and I think that's left him a little bit behind to everybody else, but he has been for long enough training with everybody else to, um, to see him play today. Uh, it's an important game, as we say, next week. In the basic lineup, if everybody's fit in midfield, it would be Casimiro, Cross, and Modric. So that means that Hamas is playing two games, Asensio is playing today, then if I, were, if I was uh, Isco, I would really... Uh, something I had to give, uh, and uh, the two centre-backs are, are new. So are the two wingers, compared to Real Sociedad as well. Momo, who, a veteran now, a local boy, uh, and on the other side will be uh, Vieira, again a local boy. So it is, it is a recognisable team, apart from the, perhaps when you play against Real Madrid, the two most important players, the two centre-backs. Three of the back four have changed, with uh, only Dani Castellano keeping his place. Uh, Javi Barras, uh, Roque Mesa, Tana are the Three, other players. 934 miles to Dortmund. This is 1,085 as the crow or seagull flies. For Real Madrid, they want to keep up this momentum. Unbeaten so far this season there. Ronaldo and Benzema and Gaut Biel still recovering from the, the Euros and injuries, of course. And there's Asensio to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cue the boots for Ronaldo, who's uh, fit and feeling well again after illness kept him out of the team last week. Well, at least two or three step overs to come inside on his right foot, open up the angle as we look at Kiki Setien, the Las Palmas coach. I'm sure he's got a game plan to try and keep it after uh, earning his career elsewhere. Cruz has won the ball for Real Madrid, and Veras works out his angles. Well, he could have given the ball wide left to Ronaldo. It was a disapproving look from Ronaldo. I, that's why I said it, Rob. I, I saw the look as well. The ball. That's the shot that was saved from Toni Kroos. And, as I say, scored that equaliser against Villarreal. Wonderful header it was. Kroos flips it in. All free header. Varas oh, and convincingly kicked it out. Now that's his header. It's a flat, but what do they say? First rule of goalkeeping, doesn't matter how you play. Just looking at the Morgan though, Rob. He's, he's in between two defenders, he's got a free header, Marazzi. He's one of their better headers of a ball. And that's poor defending from Las Palmas, but good goalkeeping from... Yes, he's uh, very good at running in the channels and works tremendously hard. Very unselfish player. He's edging the possession in the opening quarter of an hour of this game. given space and a big dipper from Cristiano Ronaldo better Rob took it well on his chest and got hold of it Javi Varas was scrambling lovely touch from Luka Modric decent strike from Cristiano Ronaldo it was only put out by Modric who's been arguably the most impressive player for Real Madrid this season Morata well, he worked the angle, he worked the space, but he lacked the finish. Chieben, he's trying to bend it a lot more than that outside the far post, but in the end, it's pretty good. Oh, no. Momo plays it back, Castellano continues the run. Well, that'll be the best chance of the game so far. Wasn't a bad piece of movement, good run from Jonathan Vieira, cut back really well. I know you can see he's just coming on to it, trying to get on the end of it, Jonathan Vieira, he can't get his right foot on it. In a peripheral figure, Asensio to Bale, Carvajal with lots of space and lots of options. Carvajal looks for Ronaldo, but Rata takes his time, they regroup and somehow they get the ball away, brilliant defending, solid defending from 
Las Palmas. Well, it's another good opportunity. I think they've fluffed. There's a ball from Gareth Bale. First touch here from Carvajal. He cuts it back. The shot's blocked by David Garcia. And then David Garcia's tackle. It was Carvajal that caught Garcia yeah. across the thigh, wasn't it? Garcia was visibly yeah. Michel. Promising as Michel slips. Momo flips it over the top. Tana! Oh, it needed a stronger touch on the ball than that. It crept away from the defenders. Very inventive piece of play. Just Rob. flips it over the top for Tana, and he gets to it first before Rafael Varane. That's clever play from Vieira. And that's a shot. And well, it's all Las Palmas at the moment as they are peppering the goal. This time it's uh, Jonathan Vieira. Well, he's at the heart of all the good attacks from Las Palmas. Biggest share of opportunities and haven't taken them. That's a good ball. Gareth Bell gets into his stride. Leaves the defender for dead right across the face of goal, but Varas cuts it out. Also, Asensio. Oh, I thought he might have given a penalty. Morata had picked his pocket. I'd like to see that again, Rob. The referee is Bale. Good change of pace. Cuts it back. Now, what's this? He doesn't get the ball. He gets them on. I don't know the man. Nacho onto the loose ball quickly. Ronaldo's his running mate. Nacho goes solo, needed the save and followed up. An instinctive finish from Asensio. Right place, right time. Well, give credit to Nacho, Rob. We're talking about him earlier being a. A, a very versatile player and he goes all the way on his own his anticipation to win the ball in the first place in front of the, the striker and then to continue the run and go straight through a goal on his own and have that strike good save from Javi Varas initially but you're right Rob Asensio is in the right place at the right time excellent play very positive good drive and run and that's a fantastic follow-up from Asensio three goals this season He's up there, joint top goal scorer with Sergio Ramos. It was only one goal, less than the whole of last season when he was at Espanyol. He doesn't look the same player that played at Espanyol, I'm sure. At least some talent. He uh, doesn't turn 21 until chess season. They went to pieces in the, uh, the autumn last Palmas. They laid down the foundations. If I has a big chance, Tana! Las Palmas back in it. This plucky little holiday island side <laughs> refuse to allow Real Madrid to have all their own way. Oh, good entertainment, Rob. They are get forward, put crosses in, and the fans love it, don't they? And credit to Tana. He's another one. He's on three goals now. That's his third goal of the season. Oh, look at the hits. Have a look. Well, it doesn't clear the penalty area. It's a poor header, I think, from Varane. That's a poor header. False to Tana, takes a touch and sticks it in the back of the net. And the Pedro Placet, that is his name. Tana is the shirt that he bears. And a cool headed finish. Another one of the local heroes. One of the eight players in the starting 11 tonight. He come from the island, and he's head over heels. They paid top dollar, those that don't have a season ticket, for this one-off game to uh, obtain a ticket. Not on the raw, a number of uh, spare seats in the house. It's somewhere between 90 and 400 euros to see Bale. Good save. That was a brilliant save by the Paris. As the defence stood still, Bale pounced. Great diagonal ball, great control on the... Ch He's onside, Rob, time the runs perfect, first touch is brilliant, into the box and bang. Good goalkeeping, Javi Varane. That's the half volley shot. It's a good piece of goalkeeping, gets his hands to it. Loads of pace on it, but it's on target. Well, it's an all-round demonstration of excellent technique. Continues the run that he started, puts in a, a dink of a cross. 
And live on the 45 minutes, the referee draws a richly entertaining first half to a close. It's been a wonderful contest. Las Palmas not showing Real Madrid the respect they get from many teams. I although like they have done, I think he will say, too many times in the first half. OK, let's get into the second half with Jerry and Rob. Thank you for the wise words from Michael Laudrup at half-time. Smiles all round the Estadio Gran Canaria. That's Palmas won, Real Madrid won at half-time. That is a very fair reflection on the way things were split. Real Madrid taken international, had some time at Liverpool early in his career. Gareth Bale, great footwork from Bale. Ronaldo, offside, won't like what he sees. He suspected he was offside, but he's still determined to finish it. Well, you play to the woods, clearly offside here as Bale coming inside into well, a posse of yellow shirts. Ronaldo. It's a readjustment. Heads up. Force Hall immediately to Benzema being on the field. Seconds. And he could have had that immediate impact. They called him cold. Well, that's what we're saying in terms of not sick. Glancing header there. Oh, it's a towering header. Two centre forwards in Maratta and Benzema. Here's one of those. Maratta, Benzema alongside him. Ronaldo makes a great run. Ronaldo! Balls for Benzema! He has the impact. Zidane brings him on and he repays. His fellow countryman with a vital goal. Well, it's heartbreak for Javi Vars because Ronaldo goes through on a one-on-one -on -one after a great piece of play from Luka Modric. But, you know, the keeper makes another save, another wonderful save from Javi Vars. Rebound falls kindly for Karim Benzema and he sticks it in the back of the net. But let's give credit to Zinedine Zidane Rob for being positive and sticking four strikers on. Look at this pass there. He's onside. Ronaldo takes a touch. Good save from the keeper falls kindly for Karim Benzema it's actually Morata who pokes it through well three of the four combined Morata with the assist Ronaldo is blocked by Varas and Karim Benzema follows up his second goal of the season oh, good time to take the lead it was mentioned That's before the Look at this, look at this. Benzema oh. comes across and it's Rastic defending from Varas who had to come right to the extreme of his penalty area to block him. They're threatening all the time. Cream Benzema gets her first and... It would be so profitable if they could get an equalising goal here to keep this early season momentum up. Tanner teases it in. There's a bit of space in there. And Casilla has to come, but he can't keep it out. And they have got that equalising goal. Substitute with a goal he's never going to forget. And the Canaries may well not throw it off that perch. Well, it's good football, Rob. The balls come in. There's a clever little cushion header in the edge of the box, into the path of Araujo. And, and the goalkeeper comes out, and as the shots hit, it rebounds off him, and he gets lucky. The rebound falls kindly for him. And we have, look at the ball. Now look at the clever little cushion header into his path. And the shot, and then the rebound falls kindly. And he makes good use of his good luck. And look at that lovely cushion header from Vicente. Well, grim determination from the little Argentinian. And he was the man who lifted them from the second flight. He was on loan from Boca Juniors a couple of years ago. Game over, scored 25 goals, including one in the playoff final. And he may just have topped that with the equaliser against Real Madrid. Yep. With takers, but it's a great header from Michel. Modric, incessant attacking this from Real Madrid. Oh, there's what the big chance. chance. A very big chance for Benzema. Oh, dearie me. Good cross as well, it was, Rob, from Carvajal smile on his face but I think it was nervous laughter from Benzema doesn't get his knee over the top of it properly does he and these are the points we're making about not being match fit not having enough to cruise 
Modric. All the words of Zidane for the game. Let's not leave it late again, boys. They weren't listening. Tony Cruz. He has numbers in there. Michel's header. Falls to Modric. Modric to Carvajal. Carvajal steadies himself. Plays it back. Oh, and that was that one chance we were talking about. It fell to Isco, and he couldn't grasp it. Well, it's a it's a game of missed chances in the dying seconds. Super piece of play here. Vasquez on the right side. It's Carvajal's cross. We saw Cristiano Ronaldo spectated in the summer. It goes Zaha. Casillas come an awful long way, and he was a very lucky goalkeeper to escape that. It was a, a miss kick in front of Cole, and that one moment sums up what has been a bizarrely entertaining game. Ronaldo watches from the sideline. He was given the hook.